Hey guys, it's Jeff. Thanks for checking out my video today. This video is going to be about the HDR15. It's a new product from F1 Firearms, recently announced in their AR15 lineup. Uh, so in this video, you're going to be seeing a lot of behind the scenes factory tour video. If you want to see more about the factory tour, give this video a like and let me know. I'm getting beat up by the algorithm anyway. Hey guys, welcome back. So like I said, in this video, I'm gonna be covering the HDR15. It's this guy right here. Gonna be going through it is uh, pretty heavily, but first I wanna talk about how I came to know F1 firearms. Now, if you're familiar with AR-15s, you probably have seen competition rifles. If you're on YouTube, you've probably seen uh, a guy named Demolition Ranch. Matt Carricker does a lot of videos. And a couple of years ago, he was doing a line of AR-15s from F1 firearms. So they always came off to me is a, a flashy, interesting race gun that was built specifically for the competition market. So when I recently had a chance to shoot one of their guns at a range day event, uh, I got a chance to shoot the BDR-15. I was thoroughly impressed. And you can see that here. Okay. Just gotta let us end it, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That feels good, man. Yeah, it stays right there. <laughs> That is very cool. Very good quality gun. I was very impressed with the BDR-15. But with the BDR-15, you're looking at a pretty expensive, pretty expensive rifle. So you have to take that into consideration when you're looking at their products. You are paying for a very highly tuned uh, piece of equipment, right? So if you're not familiar with F1 Firearms as a company, F1 Firearms is out of Spring, Texas. They're a Texas-based manufacturer of AR-15s for competition. They make several versions of all of their rifles for civilian, competition, and law enforcement use. So if you're not familiar with the lines, they have several, but they have the BDR uh, BDR line, the UDR line, the UDP line, which is their PCC, HDR, FDR, uh, FU King, and the Demolition Ranch Rifle. So if you went to their website to check out what they have, those are the different versions and options that they have. So as you can see, this is a interesting rifle. It does have some relief cuts in the Magwell. On that side, it's the Star. And then on this side, you can see it is the American flag, so they call it the Stars and Stripes version of the HDR-15. Um, so out of the box, it's gonna be configured a little differently than what you see here, but what I would like to point out, and, I, and I'm gonna take it to the tabletop, but you see that the billet allows them to put some, uh, some more interesting patterns in the, uh, in the milling. When they're milleting out this billet, they can mill it out in a different way to make it a little bit more attractive. It's already in the milling machine, so, uh, yeah, they can, they can get a little more decorative, a little more creative. So this has a lot of DNA with their competition rifles. And I'm going to show you uh, what you get when you get this out of the box. It's not going to look like this, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very similar to what you can get if you want to get a BDR, um, their competition rifle, without all of the relief cuts. So let's take it to the tabletop and I'll let you see a little bit more. All right, guys, so now we are on the tabletop. We're gonna take a look at this uh, a little bit closer, but before I get into this specific one, I do wanna cover what you're gonna get out of the box. So I'll roll in a picture of what one looks like factory, um, just so you have something to compare to what you see here. So you're gonna get a billet aluminum upper and lower receiver. This one has those as well. Um, it's gonna be the Stars and Stripes relief cut on the Magwell, as I've demonstrated earlier. Um, their S7M 13.7 billet handguard. It's a 16 inch billet 
or I'm sorry, Black Knight Tried 4166 stainless steel barrel. It's chambered in 223 Wild. It uses a mid-length gas system. It comes with an MFT stock. This one also comes with MFT stock. Uh, MOE grip. This one does not have that. Mil spec trigger does not have that. Uh, mil spec charging handle does not have that. Mil spec safety does not have that. And an A2 flash hider. This one does not have that. So now that's what you get out of the box. So mine comes with a little bit interesting configuration and yours can too. So if you were to order one from, uh, from F1 Firearms, I believe they offer a custom order option for you to uh, accessorize it the way you want. They were able to do that with me. I would imagine they can do that for you as well. Um, so in this particular one, you've got, we'll start at the very beginning here. You've got a PVD coated Dragon Slayer break. Now I'm gonna roll in some video here. You can actually see this break works so effectively that it actually pushes the barrel uh, down on the gun. Very soft shooting. And I attribute some of that to the mid-length gas system as well. So continuing to move uh, back, it still has the stainless steel 416 stainless steel barrel, but instead of using a black nitride uh, mine that I went with the PVD coating, um, it has the F1 safety, so you can see back here, they're using their F1 safeties, their, their uh, ambidextrous throw levers. So you can see here on the other side, it is ambidextrous. Let me get that around there for you there. So you can see that it is ambidextrous. So continuing on, um, this one has a match grade trigger, three and a half pound pull. Um, I also went with a X2 dev group uh, charging handle. This is a little bit longer charging handle. I have done a video on this. So if you want to see some more information about that, uh, you, you can uh, check out that video, but X2 dev group, this is the Jackal X2 charging handle. And it's an interesting little design. I covered that in my other video. So go check that out. Um, also you can tell here that I'm using the F1 firearms style. Uh, they call it the F1 style Two grip. This one has the paracord wrap on it. So uh, you can get them with the paracord wrap or without. This one came with the paracord wrap. Um, mine is also topped off with a primary arms SLX 25. This has got the ACSS reticle. I'm gonna be doing a video on that. So stay tuned to uh, my channel for more on that optic. Uh, it's a 25 millimeter optic. It's really cool. And there's some interesting features on there that I do wanna discuss, but that'll be a dedicated video. So that's the story of this particular build. A little background on the F1 firearms uh, as a company and what you can get. So what I would say about this gun, you know, as the HDR 15, this is not a BDR, but you can absolutely tell that this is a base model for somebody who wants to accessorize their AR 15, potentially do some competition and want, doesn't have the money to go out and buy a race ready gun, but wants to have a good base platform to start with. Um, I know F1 Firearms has got a lot of uh, flack in the industry um, from people who may or may not have uh, real world experience and they look at the relief cuts as being a detriment to a successful AR-15 for a defensive use case type rifle. I don't think that that's what you're getting when you're getting a competition rifle. I think there's other options out there. I think there's a lot of battle proven features in the AR-15 that you don't necessarily need in a competition rifle. And that's what the focus of F1 Firearms has always been. Now they do make rifles in the completely mil spec configuration. Check out their website if that's something you're interested in. I think these are a little bit more fun kind of guns. These are guns that you're gonna compete with. And back to the HDR, I think if you want a base platform that you can customize Customize the way you want it, I think you can get pretty close to what you would see in their BDR line. Now you're not going to get that out of the box, but you can accessorize it the way you want. I can't say enough about this uh, Dragon Slayer comp. I really have been impressed with this. Now I've used a lot of different uh, compensators, um, but that one's really been impressive to me. So anyway, that's it for this one, guys. If you like this video, if you like what I'm doing here, please give me a thumbs up. You know, thumbs up are, are more critical now than they've ever been before. With the way YouTube has been cracking down on, on creators, you tell I don't have a magazine in this gun. Um, you know, this probably won't even get demonetized because I'm gonna roll in some range video at a range that's got an RSO that's paid for membership. They're still gonna probably demonetize this video. So if you could, you know, just give me a like or a, a comment in the section. We can talk about this gun a little bit if you got in, any questions. But uh, yeah, 
I like this gun. I think it's a pretty interesting gun. If you're looking to get in a competition, you want to do a little bit more sport shooting, um, then this is definitely one that I would consider recommending to anyone. I like what they're doing with it. And uh, with that, guys, I'm going to drop this video here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay vigilant, stay active, stay in the fight, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Just say it runs like a green. It runs like a champ!